I cannot. But when people just exist, that's it. They just breathe and just ex I'm like after. Imagine being in a relationship with a with a person like Tweak. You'll be like, yo, babe, you wanna watch TV? Uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Okay, so do you wanna watch TV or like do something else? And they're like, oh, well, I don't really care. If you wanna watch TV, you can watch TV. Okay, then. Let's watch some Netflix. Do you wanna watch like a show or like a movie? It's like, I don't know. I just, I don't really care. Like, God forbid you have an opinion. Oh my God, please go ahead. Have an opinion, please. Just say something. I'm giving you the options already. You just have to pick A, B or C. It ain't that deep. Just say something. I hate it. I hate it. They're like an NPC, dude. Have an opinion, God damn it! I feel attacked. <laughs> The thing is, the I don't care whatever you want is a completely fine response. But not if that is your entire personality. It is a good response. Sometimes when you have multiple options, you can just be like, I don't care. Like, whatever you rather prefer. It's an okay response to have sometimes. But not always. Don't make it your whole personality. Sounds like Lily is talking from a personal experience, Keck. I mean, we've all had people like that in our friend circle and or, or God forbid in a relationship. I'm pretty sure everyone has a friend that is exactly like that where no matter what they do where they go where they meet when they meet how often they meet they are a zero opinion type of person yeah but because of that these girl. kind of people that are scared and lazy to have an opinion like what do you want yes what do you want do you have an want opinion these in your face or what <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Do, 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 do,